Hey guys, um, today I want to uh, demo a quick experiment that I did. Um, so we're in my test world here. I'm just going to start building some stuff while I talk to you. Um, this is actually, uh, like I said, this is my test world and I, uh, I actually used a filler to um, build this gigantic structure which uh, you'll see throughout the course of this video as, uh, as I pan around and such. Um, out, actually, it's built out of inverted red power 2 lights, so um, the majority of them are white. I occasionally decided to mix it up, and uh, so you can see I have some red and pink on the ceiling there, but <laughs> the rest of them are white, so it's basically this gigantic uh, white room. I don't know if anybody's ever seen um, uh, the, the show Chuck, where the... Um, there's a, a, a room that's, that's kind of like this. It's all white. That's... Uh, got images that flash all over. Anyway, so that's what kind of reminded me of it. I thought it was pretty neat. But um, to what we're doing here today is we're, like I said, we're running an experiment. I, I'm actually curious, and uh, I, as I derp around uh, trying to build this tank, um, I wanted to see uh, which of the uh, methods for uh, getting water in a tank was faster. Um, the, the two options in this video being uh, Zycorium water from Zycraft, uh, obviously. Um, since we're using Zycraft tanks uh, and, and Zycraft valves as a part of those, we have the option to um, use Zycorium water. Uh, but the other alternative, uh, which is what I would normally use, not knowing any better, um, is the uh, aqueous accumulator from Thermal Expansion. So uh, just building two tanks here. Each has uh, one block of space in the middle, which means they're both going to store 16 buckets of water and you can see what I what I just placed that light on um, is a uh, liquid detector so basically whenever the water hits the ceiling uh, it's gonna emit to that liquid detector and we're gonna get a redstone signal which is gonna turn the light on so both tanks are built identically um, basically whichever light turns on first means that that tank is full first so um, what we're gonna do here is just attempt to make <laughs> attempt to make an infinite water source and we're gonna plop our aqueous accumulator down in the middle there so it gets uh, water. Um, I'm not sure exactly how quickly it gets water and um, now that I think about it, it may in fact uh, get water faster if we put liquid on all four sides instead of just two. But um, I actually just wanted to do a preliminary test here and then I think what I'm gonna do, to do is uh, I'm gonna come back later and do a second video um, showing even more uh, methods for accumulating uh, water because now that I think about it there's um, not only the aqueous accumulator and the Zycorium water but we also have the uh, Railcraft water tank I believe which, which uses water tank siding and um, it's a multi-block structure so uh, again I haven't looked up the numbers for how quickly these things uh, do what they do um, but I thought hey why not uh, just make it fun and let's actually test them out and see which one wins. So um, I, I'm, I'm really considering uh, doing another video with uh, some more methods and then like hooking it up to a nice red power, um, red power driven like uh, system so we can we can show which ones come in first, second, third and so on. So um, just bear with me a, a bit longer here. I, I, I didn't realize uh, before making this that <laughs> um, aqueous accumulators actually output to liquid ducts uh, automatically. Um, I should have realized because you know all thermal expansion machines uh, output without requiring uh, power or without requiring you know being pumped so um, yeah as soon as I as soon as I did that it's gonna start pumping again. So I think this is the point at which I actually figured it out. So uh, yeah for for the next second here let me uh, let me put this thing back. Uh, so also whenever I break the valve, for those who don't know, it's actually emptying out the Zycraft tank. So uh, that's what's up there. So all right, now everything's connected. The aqueous accumulator is set to um, only uh, start generating water when it receives a redstone signal. So let's hook up a redstone signal. Get those buckets out of my way and get the um, ejaculated wire and uh, Red alloy wire here. So, what we're gonna, I'm not sure actually if that, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, so we're gonna, um, what we're gonna do this is since the Zycorium water needs to be placed directly on the valve in order for it to work, um, 
and it doesn't, as far as I know at least, it doesn't respond to Renzo and Signal. I'm not actually sure. But I'm thinking that the best way to do this is just going to have a deployer um, just plop it down where we want it to go. So let's, uh, let's set that up right here. And uh, yeah, I realize we don't need the, the jacketed wire, but you know, it's kind of fun. So uh, we'll just rotate this thing. There we go. And get ourselves a cyclorium water. Oh, wrong, uh, wrong item to click that with, I guess. Drop it in there, and I think we're good to go. So let's flip the lever. All right, so um, please ignore <laughs> the red alloy wire screwing with my lights there, but we should have uh, both tanks filling up, and whichever light turns on first, we will uh, declare the winner. Oh, wow, yeah, it's like Corium water totally wins. <laughs> uh, victory. All right. Wow, that was surprising, actually. Uh, I guess I should have had you all place your bets and then uh, <laughs> separated these videos and show the results in a second one, but maybe I'll leave that for the next one. So uh, maybe take this as a teaser. Like I said, I, I want to create another video showing um, the results for uh, more methods. And um, for now, enjoy this bit of uh, knowledge and take it with you on your Minecraft adventures. Thanks for watching.